Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your Farming Simulator 19 Mod Contact Spotlight where today, or this time, we're going to be looking at the Gutler Supermax Cultivation Pack. I have it written down so I remember the name of it. And that has, this has three different cultivators in it, from what I can make out. The 35, the 55, and the 65. Uh, oh good lord, that's bad! <laughs> yes, look at the cultivator! That that's very close to the cultivator immediately. I, I mean, I can use that to look at the model. It's it's not a bad model actually. I can see why they wanted the camera like right up the cultivator right up in your face in the shop. Um, I'm hoping it's not this big in game, or once it comes out of the shop. Yeah, the modeling's pretty nice, but <sighs> there's always a but with me, isn't there? The modeling's nice, but. It's a cultivator, there's only so far you can go. Oh my god. Why are the cat? Why is the camera like inside the cultivator? <laughs> there's only so much you can do with the cultivator. Again, this is very nicely modeled, very detailed. And the 60 is. Again, why does it. Like, this is a good camera to start off with. Not this one. Or where, where was it starting off? But not like this, where you can't see the entire thing. Like, Start off out here where you can see the entire cultivator, please. Um, all three, all three do look to be very well detailed, very well modeled. Um, I can't foresee there being many issues. Um, with these, I'll be very honest. Um, cultivators tend to be, in the grand scheme of complicated mods, some of the easier mods to make. Uh, which isn't intended as an insult, but th there are things you can do with other mods that are weird and wonderful that you can't really... There's not a whole lot you can add to a cultivator. I could be, I, I could be wrong. You might be able to add tons to cultivators, but uh, from what I've seen, they tend to just be like, It is cultivator. It works. Look at it cultivate. And, uh, yeah, does it, this is doing a really nice job. I will bring all three up to the field here and give, it a t give them a test. Um, this small one, I, I like the modeling. I, you know, it's... I prefer if there was a rotor on the back instead of the tines, but maybe that's the way it, it, it do be in real life, so I, I can't really... I can't really make a complaint about that. If you know, it's it, it, if in real life it, it is um, tines on the back as well, just kind of brush. I, I'll call them brush tines, which probably isn't the right term, but it's descriptive at least. But uh, here's the middle one, and they do fold and unfold, which is nice. Like, that is a nice thing that you can do with some of the larger cultivators. That took a while to go down. I think it wasn't fully unfolded, so there might be a bit of play in the folding animation where it looks folded, but it's not actually folded yet. Or unfolded, I should say. Um, I will say the width of this is very nice. It's a, this is the kind of cultivator that I'd probably use a lot, like this size. Um... Just because it's, it, it's not overly huge, it's got a decent enough spread, and you know it's it's a very light cultivator. It won't require it doesn't require much power, does it? Or I say something stupid. Um, no, it's five meters and only requires 120 horse. I mean, you can get away with using a very small tractor on this one because it is. Um, It's a decent size, but very, very... I want to put that down correctly. Decent size, but very low power requirements. And then... This is a... That's the 6 meter one. That requires 190 horse. Because this is... This is decidedly smaller than the one I was just using. Surely. Yes, yes it is. So this is the 5 meter one that requires 120. That last one was the 6 meter one. That makes more sense, yeah. 6 meters is usually 
where I'm quite happy with cultivators. For one reason or other, just... Six meters is always kind of my happy place. Let's try out the five meter one as well. Um, and they are just variations on, on effectively the same cultivator, so... I'm not going to say one's better than the other in this pack. They're all kind of modularly built. Um, they're all, you know, much the same. I didn't... I don't think I needed to bring all three into the field here to test them out, you know... One cultivator in a, pa one cultivator in a pack is going to work pretty much the same as the other cultivators, especially if... Um, they're very modular like these, and they're they're based on the same cultivator, effectively. This is all its own company, just um, three cultivators from their range. Maybe their entire range. I, mean, I don't know. Um, but in terms of the, the modular comment I made, I should probably explain that a bit before somebody gets offended and thinks that I'm trying to be um, insulting. I'm, I'm really not, because... If you look at the three meter cultivator here, and this is this is something the company would have done to reduce machining costs. The three meter cultivator here is literally just one side of the six meter. For the six meter they just added on an extra bracket on top, which clearly isn't present. And in fact the bracket fits in where the three point roughly where the three point is in the three meter version. Um, there is a small bit of extra material in the 6 meter one, just to deal with that bracket, but it's, it's roughly where the 3 point attacher is. And the 5 meter version is much the same, just sized down slightly. Um, so, while it might sound like I'm being rude and mean to the model when I say, Oh, hey, this is just effectively the same cultivator three times in... Except that the larger ones are two of them strapped together. No, that's something that the company would have done, and I completely understand why. Because it's it's cheaper to use the same machining for multiple pieces of equipment. And decide after the fact what they're going to be. Um, I like this pack. I really do. But, there is a but, it's not something that I wouldn't see Giants coming out with at some point in the future. So... Really, quality-wise and functionality-wise, um, really, it's it's bang on a three out of five. Being every bit as good as Giants, but it doesn't bring any. I'm trying to find to find a nice way of putting it. It doesn't bring any spectacular flair. It doesn't um, set the world alight at all. It's a very solid pack of cultivators. And really, do uh, you want a cultivator that sets things on fire? Because that'll probably be l a lot less efficient than one that plows up the ground a bit. <laughs> um, in all seriousness, though, very solid pack. Um, I like them. I'll probably use the 6 meter one a lot. I can't see... Uh, the 5 and 6 meter ones, I'll, I can see myself using the 3 meter just for personal preference, not so much. But uh, I can totally see myself using this stuff in the future. Uh, I think I'll leave it there. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.